After spending the night on a bus for our seven hour journey from Ho Chi Minh City to Dalat and arriving earlier than we expected, <laughs> I'm tired. We finally checked into our hotel to get a much needed shower and some rest. We spent most of the day asleep, but woke up hungry just in time for dinner. So we headed to the local night market to check out some of Delat's regional specialties. We're at the Delat night market now, and it looks pretty small, but they do have a ton of winter gear and some really good looking food vendors. They've also got restaurants along the side of the street. So if you're hungry, this is definitely a good spot to come. I'm really, really glad they have winter clothes because we mostly have summer gear. We go to a lot of really warm tropical places, so it's definitely been chilly here. They've got knockoff Adidas, Nike, and North Face jackets for 150,000 dong, which is about $5 US, so it's a pretty good price if you're interested. Let's go check out the night market and grab some street food. Along with the knockoff name brand winter clothes they have here, they've also got a really good selection of secondhand items as well. If you go past the main street and go down some of the little side streets, you can find some really cool items. I actually got this purple flannel here, only 35,000 dong, which is about $1.50. I couldn't believe it. So we're getting a Dalat pizza right now. It's a big piece of rice paper with scrambled eggs and spring onion. They scramble the egg on the rice paper over a grill. And then it's got sausage. Most of the time it's got dried shrimp, garlic, chili sauce, and mayonnaise. I really, really want to try this signature dish from Dalat. Alright, let's go somewhere where we can try it where it's a little bit more quiet. Come on. I'm really excited to try it out. It's nice and crispy and it's very hot. Mm. It's very tasty. It's got a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of creaminess from the chili sauce and the mayonnaise. There's a very small amount of heat because the chili sauce here tends to be a little bit hotter than others that I've encountered. The sausage is nice, but I think the star of the show is honestly the fried garlic that they put on it. It's really, really good. It comes in right at the end and gives you this nice just overall flavor. I really like this.
Lot is an incredibly fertile region of Vietnam that supplies fresh fruits, vegetables, and coffee to the entire country and plays an important role in Vietnam's economy. What started as a resort town for people to escape the heat during French colonization quickly became an agricultural powerhouse with some of the best produce in the country. One of the most popular items is their strawberries. Because they don't grow as well anywhere else in the country, tourists in Lot should take advantage of the opportunity to indulge in them. They look delicious and they're one of Ashley's favorite fruits, so we couldn't wait to try them. Okay. I've been waiting for these. <laughs> uh, two? Two? Oh, yeah, thank you. Fifteen for one. Fifteen for one? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you have thirty. Oh, you don't? I think I should. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, here is. That's for one. Uh, let me see what else I have. I'm gonna try. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Come on, thank Come on. you. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Okay, so we just got our strawberries and our soya, and we're gonna go sit on the stairs that everybody seems to sit on when they come here. We got our warm soya milk, and the vendor told us to stir it up. There is condensed milk at the bottom of this. It's probably the best part. Probably. It's not a good thing that I'm starting to love condensed milk as much as I do. It's not. <laughs> but it is delicious. And it's very, very warm, which is awesome. Yeah. Because it is chilly here in the lot. It actually doesn't feel so bad tonight. It doesn't feel so bad tonight, but it's still chilly. All right, you want to try it? Yeah. You doing straw or no straw? Yeah, you like it. I'm going to do straw because the condensed milk's all down at the bottom. <laughs> okay, makes sense. It reminds me of the liquid that's left over after you eat oatmeal. <laughs> yes, that is an awesome description. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I like cream of wheat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is so good. I see why this is popular. Mm -hmm. I, it could use a little bit more condensed milk, but that's also because I'm addicted to it now at this point, I think. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Soy milk does not taste like this in the United States. No. Nowhere close to it. It's usually like watery. And not as thick, definitely not as sweet. And we also had to get strawberries. Now, Dalat is known as the city of flowers, but it's also the lifeblood of agriculture in Vietnam. So they make a lot of produce and we didn't even wait. <laughs> All right, well, let's try this strawberry. It's so good. They're so sweet. Like perfectly sweet. Oh my gosh. These are the best strawberries I've ever had. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, this is like so good with the warm soya. Describing this as the milk left over after cream of wheat or oatmeal is the perfect description. It is so good, so warming, and just the perfect comfort drink. Yeah, it's great. I see why everybody sat up on little stools drinking this all day. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for coming along with us. We have had an amazing time in Dalat so far. There's a lot more to explore, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. In the next episode, we'll dive more into this magical city, try some delicious new dishes, and check out some of the main attractions that Dalat is known for. We just got bumped by the coaster behind us. You think it's okay?